Next one, also do it. Hatanil Melakatani. Melakatani. Okay, what was the translation of the first? Liman Hadanil Miftahani. To for whom these two keys belong to. And what will be the next one? To whom or to whom these two spoons belong to? What will you say in Urdu? Ye do chamchiya. What will you say? Okay. Ye do chamchiya kiski hai. Okay. To whom does they belong to? Okay. Good. Brother, all halwa puris, you know. I don't think we need any, uh, any snacks today. There are too many halwa puris coming. Now you should read the following nouns and give proper vowel signs to all of it. Ready? Sister Arifa? Kalbani, two dogs. Sister Maimuna? Maktabani, two dust. Sister Nas- Nasreen? Kamisani, two shirts. Sister Nusrat? Akhawani. See, we cannot say akh. It has to be akhawani. There is a fata. Two brothers. Sister Sumaya, Mindilani, two handkerchiefs. Uh, Sister uh, Fatima, Mr. Atani, Mr. Atani, two rulers. Uh, Sister uh, uh, Naima, Uhtani, okay, two sisters. And then Sister Sukhaina, Imra Atani, two ladies. Imra Atani, two ladies. Fine. Sister. Zabi, thanni means make muthanna. Thanni means make muthanna in the following words. So what will be your sayarat? Sayaratani, Hafsa. Tabibatani, Sister Salma. Waladani, Bada Muhammad. Logatani, Bada Hassan. Sadiqani, Bada Abdul Samad. Tajirani, Bada Salman. Milakatani, Bada Farooq. Mudarisani, Sister Arifa. Babani, Sister Maimuna. Ismani, and Sister uh, Nasreen. Hazani, and Sister Nusrat. Hatani. I think we got so much halwa puri, I am full. I only need cup of tea. I don't know about you. <laughs> okay. Uh, inshallah, we'll finish this, brothers and sisters. Come means how many? Al kalimatul jadidatu, new words. Come. Come means how many? Al idu, I don't have to explain. Al idu. Huh? But and, uh, truly speaking, al idu means festivity. Huh? Okay. Al-ajalatu, wheel. Ajalatun, jama, wheels. Al-hayyu, sabab, neighborhood. What is jama? Ahya'un, that's your jama. Al-riyalu, that is currency of Saudi Arabia. Riyalatun, that is your jama. Please keep those in mind, we will be using them in the next lesson. Ar-raka'atu. Raka, part of the salah. What is the jama? Raka'atun. Mashallah. Al-mistaratun. What is mistaratun? Ruler. What is jama? Masatiru. What is it? Masatiru. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Now, inshallah, we take a break. Huh? We are back after our brief break, inshallah. Now, from lesson number 19 onwards, we are going to learn how to count in Arabic. Now, counting in Arabic is a little different from English. 
sometimes it seems very complicated. It is a bit complicated. But we will do it slowly, slowly, inshallah. And Dr. Abdurrahim also has in his book divided counting into different sections. In this book, book one, we will only learn from one to ten. That's all. Then when we go to book two, we will learn from eleven to nineteen. And slowly, slowly in other lessons, lesson twenty four, it will complete the counting. We learn inshallah. But I always tell students because we do not have Arabic environment. You don't hear these things. That makes it even more difficult for us to practice. But please do not be too concerned. Try to understand the rules. And then later on, as you will read and revise, it will sink in more and more. In the beginning, it is not very, very you won't find it that it's not coming to you very easily. But because we are dividing the numbers in small groups, it's not that bad. Okay? So we are learning 1 to 10. Huh? Okay. On this side, I have written Wahid, Ifnani. The way they pronounce, it will be they won't say wahidun. They'll say wahid. And then ifnani. Do you see ifnani? What do you see in the hamza? Is it hamzatul qata or hamzatul wasal? It is hamzatul wasal. We have to take note of it. That ifnani, the hamza is hamzatul wasal. If it is, it, if, if it comes in the beginning, it is pronounced. If it doesn't come in the beginning, then it is assimilated. Are you with me? We have to remember that. And then, Salasatun. But you will always hear the word Salasa. Uh, like Fatima. Not Fatima to Fatima. Salasa. Arba. Uh, khamsa. Uh, and then, Sitta. Sabaa. Samani. Now, huh? well, Samani is a noun, but it has a different construction, which we are not going to study till we go in book three. Huh? It's different noun. It is called Mankus. It is called Mankus. And we are going to study in book three how these nouns are made. Okay, very easy, but we are not ready for it now. Huh? And then this ah, this ah, okay, this ah, and then ashara ten. Huh? Okay, this is we can practice a little bit, and then uh, I'll go further from there. Ready? Wahid, Isnani. Salasa, Arba, Khamsa, Sitta, Sabaa, Samani, Tesa, Ashara. Probably in Somali you have the same numbers. They are different. They are different. Okay. Wahid, Islani, Salasa, Arba, Khamsa, Sitta, Sabaa. Samani, Tesa, Ashara. Okay? Now you should say loudly. Ready? Wahid, Ifnani, Salasa, Arba, Khamsa, Sitta, Sabaa, Samani, Tesa, Ashara. Tesa, Ashara. Got the idea, my sister? We will practice little by little. So, Understand it and learn it, inshallah. Now, 
Number one and number two. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Number one and number two. When they come, they are always not. They are always not. Are you with me? They are always not. Always not. Number one and number two is always not. That is why we had a sentence in the last lesson. Come akhan laka ya Muhammad or ya Mahmud, whatever you say. What was the answer? Li akhun wahidun. Remember? We said, Li Akhun Wahidun. Remember that, brothers and sisters? Li Akhun Wahidun. And I asked Brother Salman this question. What is Li? Jar Majrur Shibu Jumla Khabar. What is Akhun Muptada? Akhun Muptada. And then what is Wahidun? Not. Remember, number one and number two will always come as a not. As a not. Only one and two. Okay? So, Kalamani, Ithnani, or you will have to join it. Kalamani, Ithnani. Kalamani, Ithnani. So what is Ithnani? Not. Okay? If you say, in the Kalamani, uh, in the Kalamani, it gives you a, it, it gives you an idea that you have two pen. But if you say, in the Kalamun, then you have to say Wahidun. In the Kalamun, Wahidun means, I have only one pen. But if you say in the kalamani, you do not have to say ifnani, because kalamani gives that idea. But when you say ifnani, then you are emphasizing by adding the naat. In the kalamani ifnani, then ifnani is not making it more, you know, emphasis. Okay? But you don't have to. But in case of one pen, you will have to say in the Kalamun Wahidun. Huh? Okay? So, Kalamani Thnani is a Naat. Huh? Kalamani Thnani is a Thnani is a Naat. Wahidun is a Naat. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Now, what happens in number three? This is where the drama begins. This is where the drama begins. Huh? There is a big drama here. Huh? We'll try to understand. Okay? We'll try to understand. Okay? Because it is different than other things. Okay? Now, how will you say in English? Three pens. The way I said it, three pens. <laughs> how will you say in English? Three pens, three pens. Okay? So three and then pens. Remember? Plural. Are you with me? Plural. Four pens. Huh? Five books. You said plural. Okay? Okay. Remember that compound. Five books. Three pens. Four houses. Six cars. Huh? Now, from 3 to 10, brothers and sisters, we are only talking about 3 to 10. We are not talking anything else. 3 to 10. Okay. When you start with 3 to 10, there are two things in the construction. Okay. I will write down. Huh? (coughs) 
I wrote down two nouns. Look at them. What do they resemble? They resemble Mudahili. Are you with me? They resemble Mudahili. So in other words, Padarasan from 3 to 10, the construction is Muda Mudahili. Huh? Also in English you say three pens. Okay? Uh, there is a plural there. But in Arabic, we say, Thalasatu Kutubin. What do you say? Thalasatu Kutubin. Sahi. So what is the construction? Mudaf. Mudaf. Okay. okay. I'm, I'm going to do it very briefly, brothers and sisters. I won't rush. Huh? We will repeat this tomorrow also. But now, in this Salasatu Kutubin, which is Mudaf Mudafilihi, huh? what is Salasatu is the number, Al Adadu, Sahih, number. And what is Al Kutubin? Ma'adud, what is Ma'adud, the thing which is being counted? Huh? Adad, wa Ma'adud, Al Adadu, wal Ma'adud. Huh? Adad, number, and madud is the thing which is being counted. Uh, fine? You got the idea? If you can write down this, it will be nice. Uh, inshallah. And, and give them a circle so that you understand adad and madud. Okay? Now, let us analyze it. Madud is mudaf ilahi. Is it correct? Brother Abdul Samad, Madud is mudaf ilahi. And what is it? Is it singular or plural? Kutubin. Plural. So, in other words, Madud will always be plural. What will it be? But only from 3 to 10. We are not going beyond 10. From 3 to 10, this will be the situation. I told you, a drama is unfolding in front of our eyes. Okay? Okay. So in other words, Madud will be plural. Sahi? And Adad? 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 What do you see in Adad? Do you see here? Kutubin. Everything in Arabic is either masculine or feminine. What is it, brother? Masculine. Is it masculine? Kitabun is masculine. What is this? I see Tamar Buta there. It's feminine. So this is... Huh? No. If the Madud is masculine, then the numbers are opposite. And don't ask me why. I didn't do anything. <laughs> okay, that's the way the language is. Only from 10, 3 to 10. So, if the madud is masculine, the number will become feminine. In lesson number 19, Dr. Abdurrahim only explains the marud which are masculine. In lesson number 20, we will do the other way around. But what is the other way around? Badasan, if the madud is feminine, the number will become masculine. Okay? So it's very easy. So, I see in Salasatu uh, <coughs> that it is feminine. Do you see it is feminine? Why? You see ta marbuta there. Salasatu. Huh? Okay, and then I see kutubin, which is plural. 
Okay? Now, Madud will always be Mudaf ilahi. And then the number will be Mudaf. What will be number? Mudaf. So that's why I said if you are strong in Mudaf, Mudaf ilahi, this is Halwa Puri, brother. Otherwise, it's difficult to digest. So, Salasatu Kutubin is in the form of Mudaf and Mudaf ilahi. But Mudaf ilahi, brother and sisters, uh, in this case will always be Jama. Will always be Jama. That we have to understand. Uh, so all the plurals that we have been doing, that will come to use. Okay. Three books. How I say three pens? Salasatu Aklamin. Got the idea? Salasatu Aklamin. Got the idea? Three houses. Salasatu Buyutin. Three sheikhs. Salasatu Shuyukhin. Are you with me? Three students, male students. Salasatu Tullabin. Huh? Are you with me? Salasatu Tullabin. Okay? Fine. So this is the way it will be. Okay? How about three boys? Salasatu Awla Din. Three men. Salasatu Rijalin. Now our knowledge of plural will become very handy. And you will enjoy it, inshallah. Okay? So, so I go back again. Mudaf, Mudafilai. Madud is always Mudafilai. So it is Majroor. What about Mudaf? I can see there is no Al, which is good. Mudaf cannot have Al. I see there is no Tanween. Mudaf cannot have Tanween. Sahih? Now there is one more thing about Mudaf. Compared to Mudaf Ilahi. Mudaf Ilahi is Majroor, Majroor, Majroor. Uh, but mudaf can be dun, can be dan, can be din, depending on the sentence, how it is used. Are you with me? So salasatu can become salasata. Kutubin will remain kutubin. Salasatu kutubin. Now I make it salasatu into mansub. Salasata kutubin. Now I make it into majroor. Salasati Kutubin, depending. But the Kutubin will remain Kutubin. So what is brother? Number one and Nat Manut. Sahi? What is it? Nat Manut. Number two? Nat Manut. Number is Nat and this is Manut. Sahi? When I come to three it is no longer Nath Manut, but it is Mudaf, Mudaf Ilehi. And the Mudaf Ilehi is always Jama, because that is the thing we are counting. Like pens, books, three pens, four books, huh? five houses. It's okay? So it's Jama. Then Salasatu, the number, if the Madud is Muzakkar, then the number is. Monas. And if the Madud is Monas, the number becomes Mudaka. Huh? We are going to understand it, inshallah. So, how will I say to you, uh, let us try to count 3 to 10 with the book. Ready? Everybody will say loudly, let's do it together. Okay? Starting from 3. Salasatu. Kutubin Arbaatu Kutubin Khamsatu Kutubin Sittatu Kutubin Sabaatu Kutubin Samaniyatu Kutubin Tisatu Kutubin Asharatu Kutubin Got the idea? Mudaf Mudafli Okay Now let us count Pens Huh? 
Let us count pens. Now you got to understand one thing, brother. When you write Salasatun, it's on its own. That is why we said Salasatun. But when it comes to Mudaf, it becomes Salasatu. You know that, huh? Tanwin cannot come on Mudaf. Huh? If I didn't, if I wrote it separately, I wrote it Salasatun. But if I make it as a Mudaf, then it is Salasatu. Huh? This is, you know, I am doing this to try to make you as simple as possible. Huh? To make it as simple as possible, inshallah. Okay? Remember, brothers and sisters, I told you, I am not a scholar. I do not have university degrees. All I have is my experience. Then I went to so many places and I learned. And uh, the way I found it easy, I want to share with you. And I'm trying to do things, inshallah, which will make it easy for you. Okay, brothers and sisters. So if I say to you, now we are counting pens. So you will start with three. What will you say? Salasatu Akalamin. So Salasatu is Mudaf. It cannot have Al. It cannot have Tanwin. Huh? And then Akalamin because it is Mudaf Ilehi. Majroor. Ready? So Salasatu Akalamin. Arbaatu Akalamin. Khamsatu Akalamin. Sittatu Aklamin, Sabatu Aklamin, Samaniatu Aklamin, Tisatu Aklamin, Asharatu Aklamin. You got the idea? This is how we will count. Okay? Ready? Now we count houses. Huh? We are doing a survey on behalf of the city. <laughs> we are counting houses now. Ready? What is houses? Jama? Buyutin. Buyutin. How do you say three houses? Salasatu buyutin. Arbaatu buyutin. Khamsatu buyutin. Sittatu buyutin. Sabaatu buyutin. Khamsaniyatu buyutin. Tisatu buyutin. Asharatu buyutin. MashaAllah, that was good. We are getting better, inshallah. Huh? Now, let us count children. How many children are here in the masjid? So we count it. What is waladun? A boy. What is jama? Aulad. So how, how do I say three boys? Salasatu awladin. Huh? Four boys. Arabatu awladin. Khamsatu awladin. Sittatu awladin. Sabatu awladin. Samaniyatu awladin. Tisatu awladin. Asharatu awladin. Very good. How many men now in the masjid? So Rajulun. What is the jama? Rijalun. So how will I say three men? Salasatu rijalin. Arbaatu rijalin. Hamsatu Rijalin, Sitatu Rijalin, Sabatu Rijalin, Samaniatu Rijalin, Tesatu Rijalin, Asharatu Rijalin. Now, if you will write it, you know, okay, say about eight of them, inshallah, you will be able to understand it. Uh, it's not difficult. We will do it now and we will repeat it tomorrow. Huh? I will repeat this lesson tomorrow, inshallah. Now we go to our main lesson. Al Mudiru. Kam Taliban Jadidan fi Faslika Ya Shaykhu. Brother, what is Taliban? Tamiz, mashallah, we'll remember. Huh? Always singular. Mansu, indefinite. That is our Tamiz. What is Jadidan? Nat. So, how will you translate this? 
How many new students in your class? Oh, Sheikh. Oh, Sheikh. How many students are there in your class? We will say how many students are there in your class. Okay? What is the answer? Fihi. Huh? Fihi. What is Fihi, brothers and sisters? Chahar Majru. So Shibu Jumla came uh, in the beginning as a khabar. Okay, brother, if the, we, I got my khabar, then where is the Muptita? Asharatu only. Huh? Asharatu is your Muptida. Wahua Mudaf. And then Tullah bin Mudafilehi. And do you see Jududdin? It matches Tullah bin. In number and in gender and in, in uh, construction of uh, indefinite. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So Jududdin is the Naat. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. Mudir says, Min Ainahum. Min Ainahum. Where are they from? Akulluhum. Min Baladin. Wahidin. If I remove a brothers and sisters from there, then the sentence is, Kulluhum. Min Baladin. Wahidin. So what is Kullu? Kul Mubtada. Wa huwa mudaf. And whom? Mudafili. Kullu will most of the time come as a mudaf. Huh? Remember? Allahu ala kulli shayin. Huh? Kulli shayin. Okay? Qadirun. Okay? So Kullu whom is your Kullu is your Mubtada. Wa huwa mudaf. And whom mudaf lehi? Min harjal baladin isam majroor. Char majroor, shibu jumla, khabar. And what is wahidin? Naat. See? Huh? Baladun wahidun. Baladin wahidin. Huh? Naat has to follow the manut. Okay? MashaAllah. La. No. Hum. What is home here? Muftida. See now, Damirun Munfasirun. Remember? Huwa huma hum. Okay? Hum Muftida. Min biladin mukhtalifatin. They are from different countries. Okay, brother? Hum Muftida. Min biladin jar majur shibu jumla khabar. And mukhtalifatin is, what is mukhtalifatin? Biladin Mukhtalifatin, not, not badal, but not. Means they are from different countries. Men whom from them, this is Jar Majur, Shubu Jumla Khabar, okay? And then, Salasatu Tullabin. Men whom, from amongst them, there are three students from Philippines. Salasatu Tullabin minal Filippini wa arbaatu tullabin minal yabani wa talibani minal sini wa talibun wahidun min Malaysia see how cleverly Dr. Sahib has arranged it I always admire you know look at it three students salasatu tullabin Four students, Arbaatu Tullabin. And then Talibani. He did not use Ifnani. Uh, because Talibani conveys the meaning of dual. But when he said Talibun, then he used Wahidun. Now what is Wahidun here? Naat. It is your Naat. Huh? You got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Afi Faslika. Afi Faslika. Tullabun min Amerika. Naam. Fihi, which is Jar Majur. Okay. Sabatu Tullabin. How many? Sabatu Tullabin. Seven students min Amerika. They are from Amerika. Ahum Jududun. What is the meaning? Aden you? Hum Jududun. Not Hum Jadidun. Because if we say huwa, 
then jadidun. Huma, huma, jadidani. <laughs> Remember, brother? If I say huwa, jadidun. Huma, jadidani. And hum, jududun. Again I say huwa, jadidun. Huma, jadidani. Hum, jududun. Uh, we have to match it. Uh, okay. So here, ahum jududun, adenu. What is the answer? La, no. Hum kodama. What is kodama, brother? Opposite of judud. Uh, this is also plural. What is singular? Kadimun. What is dual? Kadimani. What is plural? Kodama. Again, what is singular? Kadimun. What is dual? Kadimani. And what is plural? Kodama. Huh? Fine. Okay. Kam taliban fihi. Kam taliban fihi means fi faslika. Fihi means fi faslika. Min urubba. From Europe. What is the answer? Fihi. Hamsatu tulabin, how many? Five. Min in Kaltarra, was Samaniatu tulabin, min Almania, what is Almania? Germany. Was Sittatu tulabin, min Faransa, was Tisatu tulabin, min Yugoslavia, was Tisatu tulabin, min Yugoslavia. Are you with me? Al Mudir. Shukran ya Shaykh. Brother, what is Shukran? It is Mansur. Okay. Try to remember. Mafulun Mutlak. What did I say? Don't ask me anything more. We are going to learn later on what is Mafulun Mutlak. But I will be pointing out to you. If you forget Mafulun Mutlak, don't worry. I'll be repeating it. Uh, whenever mafulun mutlak will come, I'll say to you it is mafulun mutlak. How is it formed? How it is used? We will learn later on. Inshallah. Uh, brother, it took us only 10 minutes to finish lesson. By tonight we'll finish the book. <laughs> okay? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Next page. I will repeat this tomorrow. Because numbering requires little extra explanation. Okay? But see, the exercise number four, Kitabun, Kalamun, Tajirun, Rajulun, Talibun, Riyalun, Kirshun, Akhun, Ibnun. Huh? Now we have to Use from 3 to 10 these ma'dud. These ma'dud. Huh? So, tajirun, what is the jama of tajirun? Tujjal. So, how will I say three merchants? Salasatu tujjalin. Got the idea? Huh? Okay. Now, akhun, what is the jama of akhun? Ikhwatun. So, three brothers. Salasatu Ikhwa ten. Ibnun, what is the jama? Abnaun. Three sons. Salasatu abnaein. What will you say? Salasatu abnaein. Sahi? Inshallah, this is for you to practice. Okay? This is for you to practice. Now we come to Ikra Waktu. Do you see, brother, Ikra Waktu? What do you see? Three to ten only. Can we read loudly? Salasatu tullabin. Arbaatu tullabin. Khamsatu tullabin. Sittatu tullabin. Sabatu tullabin. Samaniyatu tullabin. Tesatu tullabin. Asharatu tullabin. Got the idea, brother? Alhamdulillah. We, we try to read it even without looking at the book. You got the idea? Huh? Okay. Let's count 
Let's count Abuna in. Huh? Abuna in. Really? Three sons. Huh? Salasatu Abuna in. Arabatu Abuna in. Samsatu Abuna in. Sittatu Abuna in. Satu Abuna in. Abuna in. Tisatu Abuna in. Asharatu Abuna in. See? Got the idea? Inshallah. Very good, brothers and sisters. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasanatan wa fil akhirati hasanatan wa kina adhab al-nar. Rabbana hablana min azwajina wa zuriyatina qurrata ayunin. Waj'alna lil muttaqina imama. Rabbana taqabbal minna inna kanta samyul alim. Wa tubu alayna inna kanta tawabu rahim. سبحان ربك رب العزة أما يتقون